everybody, and welcome to Vinyl Treasures. I'm your host, Johnny G. John Galindo, coming to you live each and every Saturday only here on Top Shelf. Always want to welcome you to the March 17, 2018 Vinyl Treasure Show. Glad you can join Johnny G. On this St. Patty's Day, and I'm a little late, and I apologize for that, but I got a special St. Patty's Day theme for tonight. Every record I'm playing is going to be on a green label. And uh, I thought that wasn't going to be so easy to do, but it was pretty easy. I had to eliminate quite a bit. I want, I wanted to play records that I haven't played within the last year. So uh, they're older than that, and maybe you've never heard them. Maybe I haven't featured many of them on the show before. So I figured that would be a cool theme for, uh, for this St. Patty's Day. I mean, what else could you really play? Danny Boy? The Unicorn, well, I don't know if they really fit my show, although Danny Boy might by The Sparks or some of those other uh, cool groups. But anyway, we opened up a tonight's special theme show with a green label, the Groove label, a subsidiary of, of RCA Records. Now, this self-taught pianist from Hampton, Georgia, his real name, William Lee Perryman, a.k.a. Mr. Piano Red, to open up tonight's show. The majority of his releases were on the parent label RCA but he had seven on Groove. That was his second, a song he wrote from October 1955. It's called Gordy's Rock. Piano read there on the Groove record label. And uh, later on, he would record as Dr. Feelgood and the Interns. Got some cool 45s. I have them on the OK label. Maybe other labels too. But anyway, enough of my babbling here. Of course, we're playing the music chronologically here. So we're going to open up with some early 50s. And uh, really, there were not a lot of labels at least green labels in the early 50s uh, that use the main color. But now for tonight's show of the first 13 records I'm playing tonight, five are on the Groove label, seven are on Federal, and I think I have one on the Jax label and then another one on the Vesta label. Anyway, that takes us through 1956, but I'm sure there were others uh, with the green labels. But to t I whipped this show up real quick. Me and Charlene had to quickly whip this show up, and we did so let's start it off here uh, with a gold top federal. I guess you call federal records a green label. We will. We are. But uh, this is uh, a, a gold top federal, a great jump with the four jacks. They're backing up a gal from Pritchard, Alabama. Her name is Lily Greenwood. She shortened it to Lil Greenwood. And this is on the federal label. Let's go back to August 1952. Lily Greenwood and the four jacks. A cool up tempo to open up tonight's special. Grandpa. Ah, can boogie too. <laughs> We 
He's got help in his step. He's all but he's spry. We do believe that Grandpa gets a hard cause when he rock. Don't need a rocking chair. He's a gay old man who can rock most anywhere. Yeah, that's a cool tune there from August 19. 19- 52, Lil Greenwood and the Four Jacks on the Gold Top Federal Record. That's the green and gold label. Grandpa Can Boogie 2. That is a cool up-tempo tune to open up tonight's a special theme show, St. Patty's Day special. Let's stay on the Green Federal. Let's stay with the Four Jacks. Not only did the Four Jacks back up Lily Greenwood, they also backed up uh, other artists on the label. And uh, here is a versatile actress played in a number of movies. Her best was back in 1948. Did anybody see the movie called No Time for Romance? But she was also a talented singer. Her name uh, was Shirley Juanita Hack. It, but uh, uh, she changed it to Shirley Haven. And here she is with the four jacks again backing her up from August of 52, the same month and year. We go back to the federal label Shirley Haven and the four jacks. The name of the tune is called Stop Fooling Around. <laughs> You fooling around. Daddy, if you want me for your own, you got to leave those other chicks alone. Can't have me and ramble over town. You got to stop. You fooling around. I know you're just a playboy. You're fooling around. As jo- whoops, as Johnny G gets caught. Charlene, they look blue to you. Posted some Federals up on my uh, Facebook wall, and Charlene says they look blue. But if you read the books, if you read the books for the collectors, it says Green Federal. Yes, some of the later ones I think were more like an aqua type blue, but I think these early ones like a kind of like a dark gray green, I guess. But anyway, that's Shirley Haven and the Four Jacks, August 1952 release. Stop fooling around. That one there on a gold top Federal, cool jazzy sound there. Now in uh, the Four jacks in addition to their own releases he also backed up little willie littlefield and also cora williams she's got some great tunes on the federal label jaji here for a saturday evening we have a special saint patrick's day theme show all green labels and the early ones lots of grooves and lots of federals and here is another federal as we move into 1953 sid nathan's green federal
federal label. And uh, by the way, I'm featuring only stock copies. Have a lot on the promo, but I'm not featuring those. No promo cop. Although there is a promo copy green. We'll talk about it when we get to it. But uh, all mostly stock copies, I think, except for maybe one or two. But anyway, this group is out of Detroit, Michigan. It's their sixth release on federal. Recorded. Uh, they recorded this one in November of 52, released in March of 53. It's a cover song, first done back in 1941 by Al Donahue and his orchestra. How about this version by the Royals? It features Charles Sutton on lead from March of 53, the Royals on Federal, and their rendition of the tune, The Shrine of St. Cecilia. <laughs> Our home is a shambles. All our treasure is gone. The town seemed deserted. Everyone so forlorn. A storm came from up above, but somehow it missed the strife. Many of you know that tune by the Harp Tones. They do a wonderful version of that. That's a cool version, too. An early side there from March 1953. Those are the Royals. Charles Sutton on lead for that one. It's on the Gold Top Federal, we'll say, with green, dark green label. The Their rendition of the tune, The Shrine of St. Cecilia. Now, the group would later, of course, change their name to the Midnighters. Of course, Hank Ballard would become the lead of the group then. John G here for a Saturday evening. Hope you're digging on the tunes here. We count down the music chronologically here on the 50s show. Finally, Another green label, though, but it's not on Federal or Groove. It's on Morty and Bob Shad's Jax, J-A-X Records out of New York City. Now, this group was discovered uh, discovered in Baltimore, Maryland by, I think, uh, Morty and Bob Shad, and it's their debut single. I'm actually playing it on the second press because the first presses of this came out on, like, that uh, reddish maroon Jacks label, but... Um, and they were on red wax, and the, the second presses are on, like, kitty wax, like that uh, you can't see through the red vinyl. They look pretty cool, and, it, and the writer credits, though, on the second press are to Alan Freed. So he gets writer credits. He became involved with this. You figured that the Shad brothers got him involved. He said he was going to play it on his radio show. I guess he said, well, you got to put me and give me the writer credits, because originally... Um, 
the lead singer Bobby Bobby Hall. He got uh, he got credit along with I think the label owner. But anyway, let's give it a spin here from July of '53. These are the Kings featuring Bobby Hall on lead. It's on the Jacks label. The tune is called "I Love You, Baby." Dakota Bob would say a, a tail slapper there for sure. You can see uh, Alan Freed playing that 45 and uh, pounding on his uh, telephone book, I think, as he would do. But that's a cool one there for the Kings, July 1953 on the Jacks label. I Love You Baby is the name of the tune. Bobby Hall, he's the lead singer, and uh, that was the first of five for the Kings recorded on the Jacks label. Also, Jacks changed their name to Harlem. And the Jacks would change their name to Harlem and have uh, this group had other releases. These Kings had others on Gotham, J-Lo, RCA, J-Wing, and on MGM. They also recorded as the Ramblers. Now for you collectors, as I mentioned, this release also comes on Maroon Jacks with uh, Bobby Hall and Bob Shad. They get the writer credit. And of course, Alan Freed, when he got involved, he said, I want some writer credits on this to play the record. And that's what happened, although I don't think it was a hit. Maybe. Maybe it was. I don't know. John G here for a Saturday evening. Let's continue here and back to the Green Federals as uh, this artist, he's from Gurdon, Arkansas, recorded on a bunch of different labels through the years. I think first on a 78 on the Supreme label in 1949, but he has releases on Modern, Downbeat, Checker, RCA, Kent, VJ, and many others. Now, this is his eighth of 11 for the federal label so we go from gold top to silver now and i think sometime in 1953 they changed to a silver top and it's jimmy witherspoon jimmy witherspoon with a quartet and that quartet is really the lamp lighters this one from november 53 on federal jimmy witherspoon and his tune called move me baby Of a three or 
from a chance But I've got a gal that's been schooled in romance So move me, baby, move me Jimmy Witherspoon and the Lamplighters there, although they don't get credit on the label they mentioned uh, with Quartet. That one there, November 1953. It's on the federal label, Silver Top Federal, but that dark green label that fits tonight's theme, St. Patty's theme. That's the 8th of 11 for Jimmy Witherspoon. And as we continue here on the Vinyl Treasure Show, we move into 1954. We stay with Sid Nathan's federal label, keeping with the St. Patty's Day theme. Now, this group, they're from Los Angeles, California. You know who they are, especially when Buck Ram became their manager and secured a contract with Mercury Records and uh, had all those big hits on the Mercury label. But before that, they recorded for the federal label, didn't have any hits. And uh, here is their second of nine for federal and probably their hardest to find. Features Tony Williams on lead. You know I'm talking about the platters. This one from January 1954, the platters on federal with their tune called I'll Cry When You're Gone. I'll cry when you're gone I hope it will last for long I'll cry when you go 
January, now, ooh, hear that, hear that talking at the end of the record. January 1954, those are the platters, the platters on Federal Records. Tony Williams on lead, the second of nine for Federal. I'll cry when you're gone. Yes, you will. John G here for a Saturday evening. It's St. Patty's Day special, and uh, we stay on the Federal label for, uh, th- but at this time, they changed their logo. They changed their logo in 1954 to the All Green Label. But uh, I have no info on this group, though. The 45 was reviewed in the December 4th, 1954 edition of Billboard magazine, and they rate this side as follows uh, The boys bow on the label with a bright reading of swingy rhythm effort that would get them DJ attention and the group has a chance with the right material that's how they rated this song in the that billboard edition it, the, the writers are Howard and Ram and I'm thinking possibly that's Buck Ram maybe I'm not sure but let's give it a spin it's from November 54 they're called the Tune Blenders it's on Federal Records the song is called Shoe Shoe Go do your gallivant, baby, shoot to you The things you did to me For everyone to see Had never ought to be when I chose you Now suddenly you find I have my peace of mind And leave my care behind when I lose you Shoot, 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 shoot,
S H O E is maybe that's what you thought. John G here for a Saturday evening. It's the St. Patty's Day special. All green label 45s. Let's continue here, though. Let's go to the Groove label. And uh, we go back to Groove Records here. We move into 1955. I have a mint copy of this on a promo, but I'm sticking with our true theme tonight as uh, the webcam never lies. So you can check it. I am playing a green label stock copy of this. But it's uh, basically, it's not a great copy. It's VG minus. But what do you want for 25 cents when I used to go out? to all these flea markets actually maybe this one was at the local cherry door thrift shop you can find records like this for 25 cents back in the 1970s but they're called the sycamores this is the intended a side of their only release from september 55 the sycamores on groove you have to excuse the pops and scratches on this but it does play through the sycamores with dark with um oh i'll be waiting I am the one who's waiting for you. Oh, we have drifted. Of the sycamores. There, whoops, I shuts off and then it turns back on. Anyway, those are the sycamores there, September 1955. I'll be waiting. It should say for you, but it doesn't. But anyway, that's on the groove label. Pops and all. It gives it another dimension, doesn't it? John G here in the record dimension, spinning only original vinyl 45s. Let's continue. We stay on the groove label for this Harlem, New York group. Now, their first release came out on the Red Robin label back in 1952, but in 53, they signed with RCA Records, released four on the RCA label. They also backed up two other artists on RCA, a Big John Greer and a Sonny Gale on another, and uh, their next releases uh, kicked off actually their 
follow-up after that kicked off the RCA subsidiary Groove label. The first record on the Groove label was by this group, a song called Dead Broke. But let's feature a cut from their second EP. They have two EPs that came out on the Groove label. This is the uh, this is track one, side one, written by Lincoln Chase. And they're called the Dew Droppers. These are the Dew Droppers from July 1955 on the Groove label. The tune is called That's All I Need. Two arms that I can turn to That's all I need Two lips that I can run to That's all I need Someone that I can tell my troubles to That's all, that's all, that's all, that's all I need That's all I need Two eyes in my direction that's all I need to arm the whole affection. That's all I need. And when I'm feeling lonely, you know I want to only. That's all, that's all, that's all, that's all, that's all I need. That's all I need. I don't need a fortune teller to tell my troubles to. I'll never, never have trouble. I have you two arms that I can turn to. That's all I need. Two lips that I can run to. That's all I need. Someone that I can tell my troubles to. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. That's all. off of an EP, an EP there, the second uh, the second EP for a group called The Dew Droppers, July 1955, that's side one, track one, song entitled That's All I Need on the Groove Record label. And you, all you need is Johnny G for a Saturday evening from 10 to midnight right here. It's a special theme show this evening as we celebrate St. Patrick's Day with all green label 45s. And let's stay in 1955 and let's go back to the federal record label for this Los Angeles-based group. Now, Thurston Harris was the lead of this group and uh, this group called the Lamplighter. So when he quit the group, they needed a replacement and that replacement was uh, Carl White. And as a result, the label felt they should change the name of the group. So they went from the Lamplighters to the Tenderfoots. And here is the B-side of their second release written by the lead singer, the second of four they recorded on the Federal label. Features Carl White on lead from April 1955. These are the Tenderfoots on Federal. The tune is called My Confession. <laughs> Well, my confession is so true. Well, I confess to all love you is my heart, oh darling. Take it if you can. So true, well, I confess to you, I'm loving you, here's my heart, oh, darling, take it if you can. Well, sometimes I'm happy. 
times and blue Well, that's just what you love to Well, sometimes you leave me Then you deceive me Oh, darling Please believe me Oh, my confession So true Well, I confess, dear Of loving you In my heart Oh, darling Take it if you can April 1955, released there for the Tenderfoots on the Green Federal label. Green Federal with silver print there. My Confession is the name of the tune. The Tenderfoots there. Carl White, he's the lead singer on that one. He also wrote the tune. Of course, uh, they later on, Carl White would become the lead of the Sharps. I like the Sharps, do a lot of great tunes, but I do like Carl White. I have a lot of the, his 45s. John G here for a Saturday evening. Hope you're digging on these cool 45s all on the green labels. And let's go back to the groove label as we move into 1956. And uh, another group I really have no information on, but I'm sure uh, they were discovered by the composers of both sides of the 45, who were Frank Slay and Bob Crew. And I'm sure they used to look for local talent to sing their tunes. And uh, this song, reviewed in a Billboard magazine, May 19th, 1956 edition, and it said, A new group on the label shows an extrovert personality and supercharged enthusiasm that puts a lot of vitality into this uh <laughs> this jump material teenagers will find this to their taste that was what the the guys at uh, and gals at billboard said but you can be the judge and give a listen to this group they're called the twilighters twi dash lighters it's from may of 56 it's on groove records the tune is called sitting in a corner <laughs> What do you do, dear, when the well runs dry?
So what do you think? You think the teens are going to like that tune there? I think they would if it was played enough for sure. The Twilighters there, May 1956. It's on the Groove label. It's called Sitting in a Corner. I think that's a pretty cool tune. And I don't know how much airplay it did get here in the New York area. You would think it would get some. Well, that's a stock green copy, and that's our theme this evening as we continue here. And here's the last 45 that I'm featuring tonight on the groove on the green groove label. This female singer crippled since birth, but uh, she was still able to win Amateur Night at the Apollo back in 1951, which awarded her a contract with Herman Lubinsky's Savoy label. She recorded 10 on the Savoy label. Then she moved over to Groove Records. Here is her fifth and final release on Groove. I posted this one up on my Facebook wall. It's a cover song. It's a, a tune written by Otis Blackwell, uh, first recorded by the Cool Gents on VJ in 1956. I like their version. Yes, I do. But this is a cover from December of 1956 for Miss Veretta Dillard. Veretta Dillard on Groove and her rendition of the tune I Just Can't Help Myself. <laughs> Cover tunes here on the Vinyl Treasure Show. Special edition, St. Patty's Day edition, all records on the green labels. That's on the Groove label. That's Veretta Dillard and a group, Charlene, we forgot to check. Is that the cues or the four who sang as the four students, etc.? I don't know, but there is a vocal group behind her there. Veretta Dillard, December 1956 on the Groove label, her fifth and final release for Groove. Her rendition of I Can't Just Help Myself. And uh, I think that uh, she recorded, uh, I think also, uh, three more releases on the Cub label, uh, Miss Ferretta Diller. John G. here for a Saturday evening as we continue. One more record out of 1956, and it's an ultra-rare 45 out of Syracuse, New York. It's on the Vesta label, Green Vesta label. The lead singer, his name is George Bebo Singleton. I featured him last week. If you recall, on the Stentor label from 
1959, a song called Great Tune. I like the Shrine of the Echoes. Here he is doing lead with the Rhythm Cadets. It's on the Vesta label with gold print, a real rare record to find from November of 56. The Rhythm Cadets with their tune called Dearest Doris. Dearest Doris, Dearest Doris, do do do. do. November 1956 there, ultra rare 45 for the Rhythm Cadets. Rhythm Cadets with the George Bebo Singleton. He's on lead. Dearest Doris, that's the name of the tune. It's on the Vesta label. It's a green label, gold print. Very rare 45. That vinyl, very soft vinyl. And a lot of these copies, they're kind of trashed when you find them. Although it did kind of sell up in the Syracuse area, but lots of them are... Uh, really in awful condition. I was lucky to get this. It's got a scratch in it, so you hear it there for a while. But uh, the person, I think Greg Surick sold me that copy. He upgraded his, believe it or not. But uh, I was glad to get that one. John G here for a Saturday evening. We have an all theme show for St. Patty's Day. Late uh, 45s on green labels. Let's move into 1957 now. And a few more 45s were pressed on different uh, labels now and we're going to get a little bit more variation we start with this 45 on andy leonetti's safari label i found this 45 this was my first copy of this i eventually did get a nice mint copy but this one was hanging around in the box so i pulled it out found it at the 303 drive-in flea market in orangeburg new york it was really cool to go looking for records i really used to have i didn't have a lot of money but i had a lot of fun going to these flea markets and looking through people's records it was just really cool to do that now it gets a little bit tedious with bidding on stuff and going against other collectors and uh it's sometimes it's difficult yes it is but it's always fun it always has been that's what made record collecting fun anyway sometimes on ebay though you can get some pretty good buys so you should check out those type of auctions but anyway this group is from the bronx new york it's their only release they're called the personalities and a 
one of the interesting things, as I tell you collectors, if you see Tico Wilshire on the label by the 45, if you don't know it, but Tico Wilshire and the orchestra is here, and it features 12-year-old Ralph Molina. He is on lead. Let's go to September 1957, The Personalities on Safari. Their tune is called Whoa, Whoa, Baby. of the personalities the personality september 1957 release it's called whoa whoa baby came out on the safari record label 12 year old ralph molina he's the lead singer and i have another uh, i have actually a solo release by ralph molina somewhere in the no humidity basement i think on the cleft tone label i think it is i'll have to pull that one out john g here for a saturday evening spinning my original vinyl 45s we do it every saturday from 10 to midnight right here on top shelf oldies let's continue here and uh, i'm cheating a little bit i guess with this next uh, 45 well i guess i've been playing second presses so i played that jacks 45 this would be very similar uh for this green label as the first presses of this come out on the yellow ivy label and uh, many of you that probably own this 45 have it on the green ivy label i have it on both as i probably should because your host is a completist that is for sure but keeping with tonight's theme uh, show i have the second press uh, that i'm featuring on stan feldman and ed portnoy's ivy label and it was al brown who discovered this group features barbara thompson on lee let's go to this Cool girl group sound. They're out of Queens, New York. It's from February 1958. They're called the Del Tears. The Del Tears on Ivy, and their tune's called Lullaby of the Bells. <laughs>
February 1958 release there. Those are the Del Tears. We send that one out to North Dakota Bob. He likes that tune. One of his favorite girl group sounds. We send it out to loyal listener North Dakota Bob. That was, those are the Del Tears. February 1958. And a Barbara Thompson, she's on lead. The first of two for the Del Tears. They would have another one on the Felsted label. They also recorded on Hamilton Records as the Tranquils. Now, first time I heard that song, used to tune in to the Gus Gossard show back in the early 70s. Used to play that one quite a bit. And that's and then I found that copy at a flea market for 10 cents. But then I eventually I also found the yellow copy at, at a flea market. It was cool back in the day then to look for 45s. Anyway, Jaji babbling on. Let's continue with more 45s out of 1950. We go to Philadelphia, PA, for this next group. They had this lone release, came out locally in Philadelphia on the mainline record label, but nationally Atlanta distributed it on the East-West label. And according to Ferdy Gonzalez, who put out that disco file, a group member, a group member uh, was uh, by the name of Vernon Earl Monroe, and he would go on to become a pro basketball player for the Baltimore Bullets, I think it was 1967, and also the New York Knicks. And he was known as Earl the Pearl Monroe. But prior to all that, he was a member of this group called the Fabulaires. Features Paul Green on lead. I'm featuring the stock copy on the East West label. I have three copies of this. I have it on Mainline. I have it on a stock copy East West. I also have it on a promo East West. It's from December 57. The Fabulaires on East West with their tune called While Walking. December 1957 release there on the East West label. Those are the Fabulaires. The Fabulaires, Paul Green. He's the lead singer. While Walking is the name of the tune. John G here for a Saturday evening. Hope you're digging on these cool green label 45s. Yes, let's continue. And uh, this next 45 was picked up by Dot Records for national distribution in early 1958. But the original press came out on Monty Bruce's power label another green label those of you that own the original 
original version of Short Shorts by the Royal Teens. It's on this label. That's a green label. And uh, later releases, though, on this label came out on Red. But uh, this record that I'm playing is uh, a Frankie Lyman sound-alike, I guess we can call it. This singer, he's from the Bronx, New York. His real name is Edward Rabinowitz but he shortened it to Eddie Robbins. And uh, the backup group here is none other than the Three Friends, same group that recorded on the Lido label. You know their tune, Blanche. They're backing him up on this one. From late 1957, it's on the Green Power label. Give a listen to Eddie Robbins. And his tune is called A Girl Like You. I didn't think that I knew how to fall in love, but I know now. Love is an easy thing, it happens all the time to go like you. It's Eddie Robbins. Eddie Robbins on the Green Power label. A Girl Like You is the name of the tune. Late 1957 release featured the three friends backing him up on that 45. John G here for a Saturday evening spinning some cool records out of my collection. Let's move into 1958. And I pulled out a number of 45s on that Green Dice label. I know some of you collectors out there are familiar with the Dice label. Some pretty rare records, a pretty rare 45s on that Dice label. And uh, it's a label out of the Bronx, New York, really owned by Zell Sanders, although legally on paper, I think uh, her daughter, Johnny Louise Richardson, had uh, was the owner of the label. But uh, you all know this great girl group on the label, and it's their second release for Dice. It features Barbara English on Lee. I'm going to send this one out to a girl group collector, John Clemente. He was up here with uh, Rich Sabello. Rich was looking at my setup. He was curious about my setup. Maybe uh, he eventually might be doing a show here on Top Shelf. We'll see. Uh, but uh, he wanted to see how my setup was. I said, you can check it out. John was up here. I'm inviting him up here to do a guest spot. We haven't really uh, agreed to the date, but I'm going to send him an email to find that out because he's usually doing gigs singing on the Saturday evenings. But uh, going to pick an evening. He's going to come up here, bring some records, give Johnny G a break on one of these evenings. But anyway, we're going to send this one out to him because I know he loves the Clickettes. It's Barbara English. She's on lead. It's from November 1958. Dice Records, the green dice label, the Clickettes with a teenager's first love.
November 1958 release there for The Click Ads. Barbara English on lead for that one. That's their second release on the Green Dice record label, A Teenager's First Love. John G. here for a Saturday evening as I'm losing my breath. A little bit under the weather. I don't know what it is that's been affecting me, but anyway, I hope I'm sounding okay. Let's continue here on another Green Label. It's the debut single for this well-known group out of Brooklyn, New York. You know who they are. It's on Gene Schwartz's MG label, E-M-G-E-M-G -E records. It features Mario D'Andrade on lead, and it's a classic as done by the five discs. This one from February 1958, the original label, MG records, the five discs with I Remember. Oh, I remember first hearing that one also on the Gus Gossard show, and I was telling my aunt about it back in the when I was a teenager back in the early 70s, and I said, you know this record by the Five Dish? She goes, oh, yes, I do. That's a great record. They were always sold out at the record store when I went to buy, but I would. But if she had it, I would wonder what label would she have gotten it on. Probably the Vic label, because that eventually came out on the Vic label, I think, as the hit, but I featured it on the original label, MG Records. Those are the five discs from February 1958 with I Remember. John G. here continuing with the special St. Patty's Day theme, all records on green labels, and uh, posted this one up on my Facebook wall. We are in 1958. This label is called Kellett Records. I think there were a lot of Hungarian 45s on this Kellett label, and I have an orange one, a later one, I think, in 1960 or whatever by a, a single artist, a female gal, but these are all on the green label with black print. This group is from the Bronx, though. They're called the Duvals, and it's with Floyd Williams and his orchestra. It features Phil Johnson on lead. This one from July 58. Phil Johnson and the Duvals on Kellett, and their tune is called I Lie to My Heart. Lie to my heart, lie to my heart. I lie to my heart. You're in love with me. Try 
That's Phil Johnson and the Duvals. That one there from July 1958. It's on the Kellett label. I have a couple releases on Kellett Records. I lie to my heart. John G, not lying to you. Sp spinning original vinyl and all on green labels. And let's continue here. Let's stay in 58. We stay in the Bronx, New York. Now, earlier we heard from the Del Tears on the Ivy label. How about the Unique Teens on the Ivy label, which is, by the way, the second press of the record now. The true first press came out on the Hanover label, but uh, the Ivy release... Uh, they are uh, they are different takes. They are not the same takes that came out on the Hanover label, and it's easy to hear the variation. At least for me, it is. I can definitely hear the difference differences in the two uh, presses. I can, but I'm featuring the B side, which is the jump side, and this variation is uh, longer. And I think there is something else about the background vocals on this one. But I find this. Ivy released to be a more muddy sound, not as clear as the uh, uh, original by uh, on Hanover. But anyway, let's give it a spin. It features Carl Petrus on lead. With this one came out in December of '58 on Ivy Records, the Unique Teens, with their tune called "At the Ball." <laughs> See, that is the uh, longer ending. That is a longer ending than the uh, Hanover release, but those are the Unique Teens December 58 release. Carl Petrus, he's the lead singer. That's the B-side. Genie was the A-side. At the Ball was the B-side featured on the Ivy label. Now, uh, Hanover, the, that release came out in September of 58, and uh, this one came out in December of 58. Don't know why that happened. Maybe it was a hit later on in the year. I don't know. Although, that uh, the group was shopped around Walnut Publishing uh, they own the rights to this and I think whoever it was Steve Allen I forget who the owners of Hanover Records and they decided to put it out but anyway I like that record it was a 45 my aunt purchased on the Hanover label anyway John G babbling on here for a Saturday evening let's go back to the uh, Sid Nathan's Federal label for a cool girl group sound and I like both sides of this 45 but none, not much is known about the group and uh, Charlene nor I can find much info but it's back to the green Federal although it does look bluer in the webcam but it's from December 58 they're called the Charmettes and it's, it's a great side this is the ballad it's called School Letter.
on the green federal label. Dark green, we'll say. Those are the Charmettes. December 1958, School Letter is the name of the tune. Flip Side's another cool tune. Johnny Johnny's the name of that one. I heard Johnny Johnny on the Gus Gossard show. Then I found that 45, I think. Oh, who sold it to me? Spence Wooten, I think, sold me that 45. Cool tunes here for a Saturday evening. It's my St. Patty's Day special as we go back to the green dice label, although uh, this label's kind of messed up. Lots of label tears on it, and it's a male group, and uh, horrible label tears on this rare 45, but uh, uh, the, a copy of this I have I have not seen turn up in quite a while. I bought this one from a dealer out of Long Island, Chris Chicona. Say hello to Chris Chicona, and I uh, like the B side of this 45 better. This group is called the Premiers. The Premiers mirrors we go back to the dice label it's from 1958 the tune is called little angel face little angel face pretty eyes wavy hair and beautiful smile i wonder wonder is this love Forty-fives here for a Saturday evening. I wish I got a. I probably should color in, color in those label tears at least with some green magic marker to make it look a little better. But uh, it was kind of horrible. I think some collectors would probably not buy that record. Although I've seen some collectors buy records cracked. And not for cheap prices, I can tell you that much. But anyway, those are the premieres from 1958. It's on uh, Zell Sanders, we'll call it Zell Sanders Dice label out of the Bronx, New York. Little Angel Face is the name of that one. Let's move into 1959 as we go to Newark, New Jersey to Donald Shaw's Neptune label. And I was thinking of pulling out some Baby Washingtons on Neptunes. She's got some cool records on the green label, but I pulled this one out. Uh, another great two-sided 45. It's another girl group. They're known as the Del Rios, and it features Joanne Garland on lead, and she wrote the tune. This one from September 1959. Give a listen to the Del Rios on Neptune. Their tune called Wait, Wait, Wait. <laughs>
Those are the Del Rios. The Del Rios on the Neptune label. Donald Donald Shaw's Neptune Records out of uh, Newark, New Jersey, featured Joanne Garland on lead. And uh, there she wrote the tune, Wait, Wait, Wait. That's the name of the tune. And there's another one I need by that group. It's uh, Joanne Garland and the Del Rios. It's on the Earth label. And it's uh, that was a division of Neptune Records. I'm still looking for that 45. John G here for a Saturday evening as we continue here with the St. Patty's Day special uh, green label. Here's a weird green label. And uh, as we get to closer to the 60s, there's more record companies that started using green labels. And here's one out of New York. It's on the Urania U-R-A-N-I-A, Urania Records. Don't know anything about this artist. He goes by the name of Paul Kirk. K-I-R-K, and a backup group here is called The Pageants. So it's Paul Kirk with The Pageants. Came out in August of 59, Urania Records. Let's give a listen to his tune. It's called Long Ago. Will you forgive? Will you forgive me now? a pretty cool tune there in uh, my opinion anyway that is uh paul kirk with the pageants august 1959 release on the urania label out of new york i guess new york city we'll say i don't know long ago is the name of that tune as we continue here on the vinyl treasure show and uh, back to the bronx new york we go back to the dice label we go back to the clickettes as we feature a b-side to their fourth release on dice and uh, it's a cover song was originally recorded by uh, Johnny and Joe in 1958 on the chess label. Give a listen to this rendition by the Clickettes from 1959 on Dice. Their uh, tune called Why Oh Why. <laughs>
featuring a lot of clickettes. <laughs> a lot of clickettes tonight, but they're on green labels. They're on the dice label. I can't play their first record, but not for me because that's a white dice. I guess a promo. It doesn't even say promo on that copy. Anyway, John G continuing here. Those are the clickettes. 1959, a cover tune there. Y O Y. It's on the dice record label. Let's continue here now. This next group there out of Brooklyn, New York. They first started recording uh, on the King label as the Temptations. Then they changed their name to the Van Dykes. And uh, this uh, song would come out a year later on Bob Keen's Donna label. But initially, it came out on Leo Rogers and Lee Silver's Spring label. It features Mike Cruz on lead. Let's go back to August of 1959. For the Van Dykes, it's on Spring Records. And their tune called Gift of Love. She sixteen today. What shall I do? My pockets are empty. I feel so blue. I Send that Van Dykes out to Linda Gata tuned into the Vinyl Treasure Show. August 1959, Mike Cruz on lead. Those are the Van Dykes. It's on the original label, Spring Records. That Lime Green Spring label. A Gift of Love is the name of the tune. You can also get it on the Donna label. Now, another record on that uh, Spring label is by the Laurels. They do the original version of Baby Talk. It was a big hit by Jan and Dean. I was looking for that Laurels uh, record, but uh, couldn't find it. I have like a VG- copy, but I also have a, a Stone Mint copy somewhere in the uh, No Humidity Base. But anyway, let's continue here for the special St. Patty Day Vinyl Treasure Show and I posted this one. This is my last post up on my Facebook wall on Robert West's Contour label as we go to Detroit, Michigan. Now the band leader gets the main credit and that is Mr. Sax Carey. It actually says the Sax Carey Show. Then right below it says starring the group. They're called the Newports. So let's give this one a spin from late 1959. These are the Newports on Contour and the tune is called Chicky Chop Chop. Baby keeps saying when the music she likes starts playing. What it I don't know, but she never says when the music is slow. But every time I dance, it comes along. Chicken choppers stop singing this song and go chop, chop, chicken chop, chop. What is it? 
song they go chop chop chicken chop chop Newports from late 1959. It's on the Contour label. Robert West Contour label. Got a bunch of records on that Contour label. Yes, I do. Those are the Newports with Chicky Chop Chop as we chop through here on the St. Patty's Day special. And uh, for those of you that love the Clickettes, you're getting your fill of Clickettes 45s out of Johnny G's collection. We go back to the Dice label for a wonderful ballad by this group, the Clickettes. And it's their fifth release on Dice. And a lead singer Barbara English, she gets partial writer credit on this one. And uh, my uh, copy of this is out of the radio station of WPEP. Got a few hundreds of records out of that station through the years. But this one from June of 59, we go back to Dice Records, the green Dice Records with the hand throwing the dice. The Clickettes with a tune called Lover's Prayer. Send that one out to Bopper Boy Warren and currently in the 
Top Shelf Holy Sham, that's his favorite Clickettes record, June 59 there. Barbara English on the Green Dice label. We'll say that for tonight. Lover's Prayer, that's a cool tune. John G here for a Saturday evening. We are almost in Vinyl Treasure Overtime with the St. Patty's Day special, all green label 45s. And uh, actually, wait, we're not moving into 1960 yet. I thought we were, but uh, we, are, we aren't. But we're going to another oddball label. This is a label called Zip Records. It's a, you know, typically green label. You can see it in the webcam. But I have no information about the artist. He goes by the name of Bobby Longo, L-O-N-G-O. And there is an unmentioned group. They're backing him up. And uh, it says uh, All-Star Music Publishing. And under that, it says Up Tempo. So this is the intended B-side, which is an up-tempo from 1959. Let's give it a spin. Bobby Longo on Zip. It's called Why... You left me. <laughs> Sounds 1959 here on the Vinyl Treasure Show, special edition. Green Labels, that's a green zip label. Bobby Longo's his name from 1959. Why You Left Me is the name of the tune. We continue for a little bit here in Vinyl Treasure Overtime for this next green label that was owned by H.B. Barnum. It was called Shardy Records. And uh, the group, they're known as the Valiants. Now, it's the same group that recorded This Is The Night on the Keen label, which featured Billy Storm. But by this time, July of 59, Billy already left the group. He went uh, for a solo career. Now, the writer credit goes to Chester Pipkin, and he is actually doing lead. And it's really a reworking of the 1955 release by the Squires, a tune called Cindy. But let's give a listen to this one. It's by the Valiants. Chester Pipkins on lead, July 59, Shardy Records. It's called Dear Cindy. <laughs> Above. I know that Cindy will always be the girl for me. Cindy, oh Cindy, oh Cindy, oh Cindy. Oh, when I have a feeling, feeling of love, Cindy is the girl that I'm thinking of. Tempting eyes so revealing 
I guess that is actually that sounds just a different arrangement. It definitely the lyrics are they sound like the original Cindy lyrics. But anyway, I guess a reworking of a different arrangement there for the Valiants, July 1959. It's on the Shardy label. There's what about five records on that label? H. B. Barnum's label there, Shardy. Dear Cindy is the name of that one. Now let's move into 1960, and uh, we go to Philadelphia, PA, for this group called the Madison Brothers. Now this song originally came out on the Rhythm label in the in May of '59. They were known as the Royal Demons. And I have that 45. It's not that easy to find. Then in June of 60, they re-released it on Len Rosen's Cedar Grove label as the Madison Brothers. I think at one time, Bopper Boy Warren, you did request this song of Johnny G. But it's from June of 1960. It's on the Cedar Grove label. These are the Madison Brothers with their tune called What's the Matter, Baby? What's the matter with your baby? Those are the Madison Brothers, a.k.a. the Roy, excuse me, the Royal Demons there, June 60. That's the June 60 release on the Cedar Grove label, a, a lime green with green trees on it, Cedar Grove. Madison Brothers there with What's the Matter, Baby. The song would be re-released again one more time in November 1960 on the app label. So if you want that 45 cheaper, you might as well find it on the apt label. A great flip side, yes, Warren, a song, a great ballad called Trusting in You. And you can guess what? A lot of these flip sides you're going to hear on next week's Vinyl Treasure show. We are in Vinyl Treasure Overtime here. Let's continue with a little bit more here of some green label 45s. Can't tell you much about this next 45, but it's on a green label. It's called Canadian Records. And even though it's called Canadian I'm sure it isn't from Canada, but I found that uh, there was currently a copy on sale on eBay right now uh, for $21. So if you go find it, I think Charlie LaRocca has it for sale. But uh, 
it, it, the one that's on eBay, it lists an address. It lists P.O. Box 332 Grand Central Station in New York City. Now, my copy does not have that. And I'm wondering if which one is first. Uh, but uh, also, there is a differing in the artist's name. As my 45 says Bradford Dennis, but the one that's 21 bucks says Brad Dennis. So I don't know what's happening there, but if you continue to look, you'll see that there's a copy like mine without the address and with the Bradford Dennis that goes for 60 bucks. So I don't know which one is first, but anyway, I know I didn't pay either price for this 45, but let's give it a spin from 1960, Bradford Dennis on Canadian. It's called The Wings of an Angel. <laughs> For Dennis and a group there on the Canadian label, and that tune called The Wings of an Angel. Let's continue here for a little bit more overtime. And this next green label is out of the state of Connecticut. It mentions Middletown and New Britain. Gotta say hello to my buddy uh, Al Bernard over in Middletown, Connecticut. But uh, this is the MZ label, it's owned by Frank Zenobi and uh, arranger guitarist Mickey Maroney. They own this MZ label. Now, the group is called the Spidells, and I'm featuring the B-side of the 45, written by the lead singer. His name is Frank Mills. This one from February 61. We move into 61, the Spidells on MZ, and their tune's called Wanted Dead or Alive.
of a tune called Deborah Lee uh, on out of Connecticut, that's for sure. But those are the Spy Dells. February 1961, Frank Mills on lead there. MZ Records, Wanted, Dead or Alive. Wasn't that a TV show, like a, a Western show in the 1950s, maybe, or maybe early 60s as Johnny G babbles on? Almost time to sign off here on the Vinyl Treaders show. Let's go to a 45 out of Sauk. City, Wisconsin, and uh, that's the home of the Sarah label. Have no info on this group, not even Gary E. Myers who is an aficionado on Wisconsin groups, has any information on this group. He, he wrote a couple of books. The one that I checked out, this one was on the Wisconsin Beat. And he didn't know much about this 45, except that there were only 500 copies pressed. Who knows where they are, all 500 copies, but it's not an easy record to find. And it fits our theme for tonight. It's on a green label, Sarah Records. It's from July of 61. Let's give it a spin. They're called the Twilighters on Sarah. The tune is called Restless Love.
That's on the Green Sarah label. Green Sarah Records, July 1961. They're called the Twilighters. Twilighters there, and their tune is called Restless Love. That's going to do it for Johnny G and the Vinyl Treasure Show. I want to thank you for joining Johnny G, listening to these cool St. Patrick Day special green, green label 45s out of my collection. I do have others that are left over, so they will uh, flow into next Saturday's show. So we'll continue with that next Saturday, plus others from... Uh, 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 what the last week's show too so uh, tune in next saturday starting at 10 p.m but that's going to do it for tonight's show thank you charlene for all your help we're going to close the show tonight uh with a group out of chicago illinois and uh, they have some really cool soulful releases on bill shepherd's apex label you may know their uh, debut single on apex it was called island of love from 1959 but here's one they do on the pam label and uh, this pam label is a green label as it's our closer for tonight it's from march of 61 the group is called the shepherds the tune is called give me a hug and you got to give me a hug as Johnny G leaves the Vinyl Treasure Show. That's going to do it for tonight, folks. And uh, tune in tomorrow evening for uh, my buddy Dave the Rave and his Relics and Rarities show. He'll be on from 9 to midnight right here on Top Shelf Foley's. You can also go to the Ustream board broadcaster, and uh, or actually I'm recording it on Ustream broadcaster. going to post it up on a YouTube account. Those of you that like to look at the labels, they'll be all green labels, although they might look kind of funny with the tone of this new webcam that uh, Barbara, my girlfriend, purchased me. But anyway, uh, that's going to do it, folks. You can also go to VinylTreasures.net to stream or download the show. And uh, I'll be back next Saturday for another edition of the 50s and early 60s 45s out of my collection. So I want everybody to have a safe and happy week and hope you enjoyed your St. Patty's Day today. And uh, I'll just see you next week. Just want to say, everybody, so long.